Karan mirror with the channel and modulation. In the previous class, we have discussed without uh, channel and modulation, and you, you derived I not is equal to I rough. If the channel and modulation is existing, what is your thing you want to understand? See, you can understand I D with respect to VDS. I said clearly I can't have a complete constant current source. Okay, with respect to our VDS. But see, when you make a transistor to work in the saturation region, something like this. This is the changes. This is the changes in your drain current, right? So there may be channel and modulation, so it may changes be more also, right? So that is the changes of a drain current with respect to VDS. Okay, so our concept is I want to reduce this change by modifying the circuit. Okay, so by modifying the circuit, I want to reduce the changes of your ID with respect to VDS so that your stability of the circuit can be increased. That means the resistance is increasing. That is a concept. So when you change the, when you reduce the changes of ID with respect to VDS, this directly says that the stability is increasing. The, the stability is increasing means resistance was increasing. Okay, see completely you can't uh, suppress, but I want to make it uh, reduce as much possible. So that is uh, our concept. Okay, you can see here, this is your uh, green line. If you, if you trace the back end, the backward, so that is a tangent to the characteristics at the larger voltage. The larger voltage is extrapolate backward to intercept the voltage axis at a voltage called early voltage. So we are in the channel and modulation. There is another uh, word, familiar word is called early voltage. So that is, uh, you can see here, is a back end backward. Okay. So always your early voltage will be negative only. Because you are going from the right to left, you are plotting that is a tangent with respect to this voltage axis. Right when you put for P mass, your VA early voltage will be in the positive. When you put for uh, N mass, it will be negative on the early voltage. Okay, that is a tangent with respect to this large voltage. Okay. Okay, now we will. Uh, Study the equation. Very simple. We know that like a VDS, normal VDS voltage. VDS is changing. Is changing, right? Why I'm writing to why not one? Go to the circuit. Here, this M1 is connected back to back. So we clearly understand that it is it will be in the saturation region only. This only will modify. Okay, I am, here I am assuming that the VDS2 is changing so that I0 is changing or ID2 is changing. With that assumption only I am proceeding here. So if you if you assume, if you proceed, so what you will get that is I0 for this one. For this one, the new change is delta I0. Okay, so this is the equation you want to learn. Okay. So, like uh, you consider the case with the, channel, with the channel and modulation, your output that is a M2 transistor equation. This is an M1 transistor equation. It was written like I0 equal to Kn2 VGS minus Vtn whole square into 1 plus lambda VDS2. This 2 for the uh, representing the M2 transistor, this 1 representing the M1 transistor. Okay, here what you are understanding is your physical parameters all are identical that is your threshold voltage your mu cox lambda all are identical if you consider it is identical so it will be coming something like this right it will be coming something like this what you will be getting is so one into one one plus lambda it is 2 into 1. How this full term become 1 means with this assumption. Here we know that 
gate and drain are shorted in the m21 m1 transistor right this is m1 transistor and m1 transistor both are shorted gate and drain are shorted okay that means your vds and vds1 will be constant for the m1 transistor okay so obviously the lambda vds1 term and lambda vds should be less than 1 only okay so because both are shorted so it will be less than 1 only so whole term i can write it as a 1 so 1 by 1 into 1 plus lambda times of vds by 1 okay so this this consideration only the changed this 1 by lambda vds 1 by 1 now the updated equation is this i naught by i ref is equal to i naught by i ref is equal to 1 by 1 1 plus lambda vds 2 by 1 okay so we know that See this is your I naught, this is your VDS2. See there is a change in the current with respect to this VDS. So this is your 1 by R naught. One, why 1 by R naught? Because this is ID versus PDS. This slope is represented for inverse of resistance because you are plotted for I versus V. So 1 by R naught. So with that only it was writing 1 by R naught change in the i naught with respect to vds2 change in the i naught with respect to vds2 that is i can write mathematically 1 by r naught that is a 1 by r naught small resistance okay when you when you differentiate okay when you differentiate with this equation change what you will have you will be having this as a 1 right so this you will be having 1 Right, because you are up, uh, differentiating with respect to VDS2. Okay, so that I can write like a I naught divided by I ref equal to lambda. With that, it was written I naught is equal to, I am bringing this I ref to the right side. So it becomes become I naught equal to lambda times of I ref. So lambda is a channel length modulation parameter. So R not equal to 1 by lambda I ref, the lambda is your channel and modulation parameter. I said clearly the channel and modulation is indirectly proportional to the early voltage. Okay, uh, this is about a channel and modulation.